Oh, welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about multiple transformation in our last few classes we have learned how we can work with transformation scale transition transformation skew transformation translate and just we will learn all this so inside this class we are going to learn how we can use this all transformation together just here Go to your core editor and simply i'm just going to insert the p tag here so you can just write here something like some text and here inside the p tag a class you can give a name just like box you can copy this go to your css dot box and open the curly braces width can be something like 150 pixel and the height can be the same 150 px the background can be something like uh, just you can say it see 1515 and the text color let's just assign a white color and the text align just center and the line height you can say just 150 pixel just vertically in center and the margin for this you can say just uh, 60 pixel from the top and auto or you can just add a transition on this transition you can say one second to all and linear now you can save come here and refresh so there is nothing so let's just set, set a hover on this dot box then hover on mouse hover i want to just set the transform value here on the scale of just let's say 1.1 for right now save and refresh now you can see it's just scaling on just very slowly you can see so here if you want to use one more transform value so you can use the space here and simply write here anyone for example uh, trans translate is okay you can say just 20 px just a comma and one more 20 px you can just set to top to bottom left to right now you can see it is working perfectly it is just positioning just from the top to bottom and if you want to just use one more transform property like uh, skew property the value x you can just say 30 degree and save now you can see we have just assigned here three transform property translate scale and skew you can use as many as you want so we are just going to assign one more the skew y value something like 20 degree and you can save this and refresh now you can see it's just working perfectly or you can just uh, use like this also so you can say just transform you can just write enter here one more enter and just simply one more enter you can just write them in separate line Control s refresh so it will give the same result yes friends this is the way of using multiple transformation just in one place that we have just worked here so you can watch the video and just uh, follow the same steps just for one or two times then you can just practice from your own self so till next class have a nice time and see you